Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we all know that keeping our finances in order, that could be a very difficult task, you know? It could be very similar to like maintaining and keeping a home very cleanly. There's a lot of different parts to that home and you know, it's a, it takes a lot of effort to keep everything organized and in its place. But when that home is nice and clean and everything is in its place, it's a much more cleaner, stress-free environment and it's a lot easier to go about finding what you need because you know exactly where it's gonna be, you know exactly where to look for that thing. Well, the same is true when it comes to your finances. So when it comes to your finances, you know, it's a lot easier to understand exactly how much money you have, where that money is, what account you can find that money in, you know, what account you can go to to get that money and access that money, and you know exactly how much money you have you know, when you look at a specific account and what you have available to you to use towards whatever particular type of purchase you need to go ahead and make. So just the same way you would like, you know, your home to be nice and neat and orderly, the same way you would want your finances to be in order because the same way, like I said, the, with the home being nice and neat and orderly, it's much more of a, you know, pleasing, comfortable environment to be in and it's much less stressful well, the same it's true with your finances when your finances are in order your life is a lot less stressful a lot less hectic you don't have to try to figure out by looking in your one account and try to figure out well how much of this money is savings how much money can i spend out of this you know how much money do i have for travel how much money do i have for all these different occasions so that's what we're going to cover in today's video we're going to be covering the three different bank accounts that you must have if you wanna have your finances in order. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, you guys. So before we go ahead and jump right into these three bank accounts that you must have, if you wanna have your finances organized and in order, if you guys could just do me one huge favor, find that thumbs up button on this video, Give that thumbs up button a quick tap for me. It really helps on my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I really appreciate it. So with, like I said, without any further delay, let's go ahead and get right into these three bank accounts that you must have. So bank account number one that you must have if you wanna keep your finances in order is that you must have a checking account. And I know that doesn't seem like anything special, you know, at first glance, because I mean, wow, a lot of people have a checking account, but, like I said, there's three bank accounts here that you must have, and this first one, it's a very simple, basic checking account, nothing special about it, but you gotta have it because this essentially is gonna be like the holding tank, the first, you know, it's like home. This is where everything's gonna start off at, and this is where, you know, your deposits are gonna go into, where your checks, your income, you know, however it is that you get paid, all the income, all the money is gonna initially start off here and it's gonna work and branch its way out from here. So, you know, you gotta start from somewhere. So this is like, you know, step one, square one, we're gonna start here. You gotta have a checking account. And like I said, all the money is eventually gonna work itself from here on out into the other bank accounts. So like I said, first bank account you must have is a checking account. So if you don't have one, get one whether it be an online bank or a physical, you know, actual bank that you could go in, sign up, create a bank account with them and get a checking account. Because this first checking account is gonna be, like I said, where all your paychecks come into, however it is you get paid, whether it's a physical check or direct deposit, but you're gonna deposit all that income is gonna come first and, for, and first and foremost into this checking account. And then, this is going to be also the same account that you're going to make all your payments like you know if you if you pay rent that's where you're going to pay your rent from from this checking account you're going to do things like you know buy your groceries all your general shopping all your basic day-to-day -day living expenses and things like that are all going to come from this checking account you know paying all your utilities all of those type of things all those type of expenses they're all going to come here and start here from this first bank account that you must have which is your checking account and then we're going to move on to the second account that you have the second bank account so the second bank account that you must have if you want to keep your finances in order and you want to you know basically have control and know exactly where your money is and not have your finances just be in like a disarray is going to be this bank account here so your second bank account is going to be your emergency fund 
So if you're not too sure what an emergency fund is, it's basically a savings account that you're going to create and open up with your bank or whatever financial institution that you create this with, but you're going to open up a savings account. And like I said, this savings account is going to be for your emergency fund. So what is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is basically funds or money. In other words, a savings account that you opened up and that you set aside a, per, a portion. It could be whatever amount that you want to contribute, whether it be per pay period or monthly or however it is, but you want to set aside somewhere between three to six months or possibly more if that is you know what it's going to take for you to feel financially comfortable and a peace of mind of your living expenses. So you don't want it to be any less than three months of your you know your living expenses so whatever it costs you to survive and pay all your bills everything you know your rent your mortgage your lights your water your gas cable whatever all of your expenses for the month add it all up whatever that total is you know times it by three and say okay i need that total set aside in my emergency fund account and you want no less than three months maybe you want to aim for about six months if you're really extreme, you might say, hey, I want, you know, 12 months saved up of my living expenses inside my inside my emergency fund account in case some large type of expense comes up. Maybe it's something like a job loss. Maybe it could even be something like a death that happens within the relationship. You have to fall back on some money. You need it. I mean, let's hope nothing like that happens. But I mean, hey. It's life, things happen, and you want to be prepared for when these situations come up. You don't want just to get, you know, like caught off guard with these huge expenses and then you're hit with them and you're like, I don't know what to do. And you go into a financial panic. That's what this emergency fund is for. It's for emergency type situations where you have this bank account to fall back on. And it's like your insurance, it protects you in these, you know, in this financial way. So when these large expenses pop up because it's inevitable you know it might not be like a death but it could be a huge medical bill it could be you know anything it could be replacing a transmission it could be replacing you know air conditioner unit at your home it could be re replacing a vehicle whatever type of expense it could be but when that large expense comes up because it will come up you won't have to panic you know it could be a job loss whatever it is but when that large expense comes up you have the finances available to you you have the money available to you it's just you know a bank account click away from being able to transfer that money to your checking account now you're able to tap into those funds and it's like that thing that on the surface you know or maybe to someone else who's not financially prepared with an emergency fund it would be like a catastrophe you know it would just be like a financial disaster for them and it will cause them you know a lot of stress and a lot of pain and a lot of grief and but for you, having an emergency fund, having those funds to be able to tap into and that you're prepared for a situation like this, it would be like, it's not a problem whatsoever. So this second bank account, it's huge, it's massive. I couldn't stress this enough. Make sure that you get a savings account that you open up and that this savings account is specifically set aside for your emergency fund. That's this second bank account that you must have if you wanna keep your finances in order and be organized all right you guys so we're at the third bank account that you must have if you want to keep your finances organized and in order so for this third bank account this third bank account is basically going to be a bank account that you open up separate from the other two bank accounts that we already talked about in this video and in this third bank account the purpose that it serves is that in this bank account, it's specifically going to be money that you contribute to this bank account separately and set aside, like I said, from those other two bank accounts. And the purpose of the money that goes into this third bank account is going to be that this money is specifically put in this bank account for the purpose of things like travel, like, you know, for you to go on vacations, or maybe it's going to be for like something like a large purchase that maybe you want to make, like maybe in this bank account, you want to contribute money you know, to be your down payment for like a home or maybe even like a down payment for an investment property or maybe you want to buy a car all cash, some type of larger purchase that you're not going to be able to just, you know, make on a weekly basis or just basically that you wouldn't be able to pay out of your checking account, you know. So you don't want this money to be 
tied up or mixed in with your emergency fund account. You don't want this money that's in this third bank account to be tied up and mixed up with your basically your checking account because that's going to be like the money that you're going to spend on a monthly and weekly you know and pay period basis so this third bank account is going to be more of like your financial goals slash you know short-term long-term financial goals that you want to accomplish something that basically costs a little more money than the normal thing you know it's not some small purchase you're not going to go to walmart or you're not going to go to target or you know just down the street to some retail shop and just go ahead and buy this thing you know for 100 200 bucks this is going to be something that's going to cost you significantly more money and it's going to require that you save up to go ahead and purchase that thing so we want to go ahead and create a separate bank account specifically for these larger type purchases or these larger type financial goals that you're hoping to accomplish and that's the whole purpose of this third other bank account is that we want to set aside a portion of your income into this third bank account and you're going to need this third bank account so that way all your finances are in order you have one account where essentially you're paying all of your bills you know everything that you need all your utilities mortgage rent all that food groceries everything it's all coming out of that first bank account your second account is your emergency fund this is strictly for like a true emergency type situation like we mentioned earlier job loss death major repairs something that's going to cost you a lot of money that you're not going to be able to just say hey like i don't have all these thousands of thousands of dollars just you know coming from my next paycheck that i could just you know basically devote to like going ahead and you know paying for this large expense so while things are going good and you're not having a problem you're setting aside money basically preparing for the future when some large financial event comes up and that's what this second bank account is for an emergency type financial situation and if you're keeping this organized by having a separate account solely for these emergency financial type situations so that's bank account number two bank account number three is basically your type of larger financial purchases that you know you want to make but you know that it's also going to take some time to save up for these things so you create this third bank account that you're basically going to save up so then when you have enough money ready and built up in this account you can now go ahead and make those purchases you know and that's how you keep your finances in order and these are the three bank accounts checking account home account you know spending account whatever you want to call it that's bank account number one number two emergency fund account and then the third one you could just call it like travel vacation large purchases whatever that third whatever name you want to give that third account but basically this is stuff that you need to save up for and buy once you have enough money to go ahead and make that purchase that's what this third bank account is so these are the three bank accounts that you must have these three bank accounts you must have these if you want to keep your finances in order so now you guys know what three bank accounts you must have if you want to keep your finances in order and be organized because you do not want all this money all mixed up and just clustered in one bank account because it's going to be a big mess you can't tell what's what you can't tell how much money you have for what thing and it's just a big old financial mess and i know you don't want that so i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you do not have these three bank accounts, be sure to go ahead and open up these three bank accounts so you can have your finances and your money in order. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead, smash that red subscribe button, hit the like button on this video if you have not already, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.